<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Smoke Show. My name is Josh Smokey Hell Nelson, and this is a brand new segment, a uh, quick little live stream we're going to do periodically here called Up in Smoke. <laughs> And uh, for this one, it's going to be uh, turning the mic around, and I'm going to be answering the questions for once instead of asking them. Uh, this is brought to you by the Fantasy Points Media Group, as well as True North Fantasy Football. Um, and before we move on, can I just say how much my graphics guy, Dan, nailed this logo? Take, take a look. That is fucking uncanny, man. Give him a follow at Dan Made Graphics on Twitter and uh, get him for your work because this guy is phenomenal. Every everything you see here, graphics wise, was done by him. Uh, you know, except for the Fantasy Points Media Group one. Um, he his work is unreal, and uh, right now we're currently collaborating on the new line of Smoke Show merchandise. Uh, that's going to be, of course, on ViridianGlobal.com. Um, so I think that takes care of the, uh, the technical shit. Let's do this. Smoke show! Okay. So our first question, uh, this week comes in from at coach Craig sport on Twitter. Uh, he is one of the true North fantasy football members. And his question is, <laughs> How does it feel to be the same size as Tutu Atwell? Well, I, uh, you know, we're, we're both small, thin framed, we will say. Uh, both clocking in at about 155 pounds. Uh, however, you need to add about two, two inches to me to get to his height because he's 5'9". And, you know, I'm only 5'7". And... We're about the same weight, so you know I'm I'm a pretty svelte person, you could say, you know, not not too big. Oh, by the way, check check this shirt out. Oh, the biscuit. Let me do let me do the pose. Oh, you see, I, I don't have the hair to pull off that uh, magnificent pose, but this is one of my favorite player designs. Let me just show it again. Ugh. That's one of my favorite player designs on ViridianGlobal.com, where you are going to find the Smoke Show merchandise coming out very soon. Um, as for two, two, um, let's just dive into him a little bit. Uh, he's he's getting a couple comps to you know Marquise Brown, you know the small receivers, but this guy is so lightning quick as well. And everyone knows how big of a Marquise fan I am. I love me some Hollywood. Uh, but he's not in a system that's really using him to his strengths. He needs higher passing volume. He needs some more targets. You know, he can be fantasy relevant. I th this isn't about Marquise. Let's, let's stick on 2-2 here. Um, let's throw a little prediction out there. I would like to see, because this is not going to cost a lot of draft capital to get 2-2, I don't think. So I would like to see him just keep that Cardinal logo on there and instead of Louisville trot on up to Arizona and uh, get in their system there. He can be used in the slot. He can be used on the outside. He's got that speed. Uh, I, I think a guy like Kingsbury could really thrive with a guy like that. So I think that answers the uh, tutu question. Uh, moving on to number two here. This one's coming in from at Teo's girlfriend six. I, <laughs> I still love that reference. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a child. Uh, okay. With the bills and Steelers having poor run games last year, do you believe that they have enough talent there that just needs to flourish? Or do you believe that they will fetch running backs in the draft and or free agency? Well, we'll start with the Bills. Um, <laughs> they already kind of added in free agency, uh, signing Matt Breida a couple weeks back. And I think that just kind of speaks volumes. I mean, that's just uh, that's one big pile of shit, like original Jurassic Park style. I, I don't really like that backfield at all. That just tells me they don't think Singletary is a three down. They don't think Moss is a three down. And I, I don't think that Breida is a three down. So what do you what do you what do you want from that? It's just the um, but capital wise, I think the Bills could address this in the draft. Um, one guy I think could be a good fit there, uh, Puka Williams. Again, like two dudes, not going to cost huge draft capital, uh, but he's explosive. Again, like Puka, like me, 
small, but uh, he's explosive. I, I think utilized properly in that offense, he he, he could flourish. Um, so do I think the Bills have enough talent there that just needs to flourish? I think we've seen what we need to see from from those guys. Maybe Moss, maybe, I don't know. I'm, I, I know Ty's a big truther on him, so uh, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because Ty's way smarter than me at this shit. Um, and for the Steelers, um, yeah, they don't really have the capital, and I don't think think that it would be very wise to spend up in that those those that you know it's a late first that they got I don't think that they should be using that on a running back I've seen a lot of mocks with running backs going there you know Najee Javante uh Najee sorry uh Javante I just I, I think it's a bad move uh, I do I mean they've kind of pushed their chips into the middle of the table uh with bringing Roethlisberger back and if if you're going to make that move, you better protect that investment. If if they're not going O-line in the first round there, ugh, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a smart idea. Um, but I, I know those running backs can be tempting, but they're they're probably going to fall down a little bit. You don't need to spend that top capital on them. There's some there. There's a couple gems. It's not a it's not a deep class. But there's some guys that you can get on discounts as far as what they have in house. I mean, Benny Snail. <laughs> but uh, I, I think uh, Amac could get some some play. You know, he's a slasher. Let, let's see what he can do. I, I don't think James Conner is going to be coming back. It was said today that he's uh, visiting the Cardinals. And I think, I think that's a great spot for him. Uh, you know, he's proven he can handle the load when healthy. Uh, Edmonds has proved he can handle it as well. So the, the, the two of them in tandem use, however, Kingsbury's planning on using them. I, I like it. Uh, I, if, if Connor signs there, I'm in on that backfield because neither are going to be very expensive ADP wise. Um, and I think they kind of decrease each other's value being there and that's good. Get those values in their drafts. Um, but yeah, the, the Steelers can make a move late, but I just, I just why? <laughs> At this point, uh, just buy into the plan of this year. Push your chips in. Do what you need to do. Beef up that O-line. Protect Roethlisberger. Let him make the throws and use those amazing wide receivers while you got them. Because after this year, I don't think Juju's going to be back. But who knows? It's time for some shameless promotion. You want the discount for the hottest site in fantasy football? I've got it. Use the promo code 21smokey10, which sounds like it was communicated over a CB radio, over at fantasypoints.com for access to a pretty ridiculous plethora of tools, info, optimizers, importers, generators, waffle makers from the all-star cast in the industry. Again, that promo is 21smokey10, 21smokey10, 21 Zero waffle breakers, not part of this promotional deal or any deal at fantasypoints.com at all. <laughs> okay, um, let's see what we got next for questions here. This one, <laughs> this one is not football related, but a real life question from a real life person in my real life. This is coming in from my beautiful wife, Rachel. You can find her on Twitter at Ranchel Nelson. That is R-A-N-C-H-E-L-N-E-L-S-O-N. What is your favorite part of marriage? Great question. One I could have done an entire podcast episode on. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll kind of give the condensed version. Support. It's just knowing that someone you love is going to be there uh and and that you can be there for that someone and it's it's a beautiful thing like i i spent so many years uh as uh in a previous career working uh in bars as a bartender mostly you know running restaurants and stuff like that but uh I I loved and enjoyed and thrived working in a social atmosphere but I wasn't exactly a person that always wanted to be in a social atmosphere in my private life. So I was okay being kind of solitary, everything like that. Um, but 
you know, there is that element of loneliness, something that, you know, the whole world is experiencing through this pandemic. But now that I've transitioned out of that industry uh, into a, a seemingly new life um, with my wife, with my son, our son, <laughs> um, it's it's support. That is my favorite part of marriage, knowing that, you know, if I've had a, a shit day, regardless of circumstance, I can come home and that support's going to be there. My wife's going to be there. My son's going to be there. And if I need that love, I, I know it's there. R regardless, I, I know that if they need it, I'm going to have that for them. Regardless, uh, I, I love that part of marriage. I've, I've always, uh, I'm one of those kind of weird old fashioned dudes that I kind of, well, I just, I wanted a, a 50th anniversary my whole life. I, I kind of got into marriage a little late for that, uh, depending on how long I live. But I would love to see it at one point. But we'll work on getting there first. Uh, but that is my favorite part of marriage, the support. You, you have to have that. If you don't have that, how do you, how do you, how do you have a marriage? You, you don't. Uh, it's just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now I'm just smiling, thinking about my wife. Rich, shout out this. I don't know if she's going to be watching this or not, or ever. Uh, she's getting her eyelashes done right now, so hope you're hope you're having fun with that. Um, yeah, Coach Ah, Coach Craig. Sorry, I'm just hitting up the comment section now. Coach Craig, yes, got your thing. Uh, yes, Steelers do need O line, and uh, yeah. Uh, so let's just kind of touch on the first couple episodes of the newly relaunched smoke show that has dropped. Uh, the first one was uh, kind of the clips episode, we'll call it more street style reporting. So I only asked two questions on that one and got several micro interviews of uh, five to 10 minutes of various people from the community answering those two questions. And uh, you, you kind of get to see one after another, the, the different viewpoints, the different perspectives the people can have out there. And that's what I'm looking to bring with the smoke show is perspectives, not of my own, but of yours, uh, of the viewers of the, the community at large out there. Um, that, that is my goal with this. Cause, uh, who, who <laughs> other than people tuning into the up and smoke, uh, who wants to hear what I want to say? That's, that's not interesting enough. Uh, you, you can get the crazy Twitter videos for that, but I, I want to bring all of your perspectives, uh, to, to the world through the podcast. Uh, so the first episode was, you know, Adam rank, uh, answering those two questions as well as others. And then the second episode, which just dropped on, uh, a week ago, uh, was the full interview with Adam Rank. And uh, one of the main questions that I've been getting uh, on podcast appearances and everything since then was, so, you know, how was it like to interview Adam? And I got to say, unequivocally, he's an absolute gem. I love Adam Rank. He has been just the nicest person before, since. Uh, he, he's supportive. He's just, he, he's just awesome. A super easy guy to talk to. Um, not that I don't really have a hard time talking to anyone but it was just like talking to someone that you've just known for years and years and years uh just super easy so thank thank you again adam rank i, I know you're you're probably sick of hearing my praises for you by now but uh tough my show <laughs> but yeah so that was the uh that was it so uh this week this is going to be the uh podcast episode as soon as we're done this live stream i'm just gonna throw it right on to uh, Anchor, and it'll be a podcast in this form, no editing or anything, so <laughs> tough if I say some shit. Um, but yeah, so that that's how this cycle of episodes for The Smoke Show is going to work. So it's going to be, you know, the, the clips episode, then the feature interview episode, then Up in Smoke, where it's going to be kind of a denouement follow-up, uh, just, you know, giving me a chance to interact with the viewers, the listeners, the community at large. Um. And that's about it. The next uh, the next cycle is going to be uh, my feature interview with uh, Will Harris. You can find him on Twitter at It's Harris Time. Uh, I'm sure most, if not all of you know who he is by now. Uh, he is the co-owner of Viridian Global and my co-host on the Jet Sweep show. I think that about wraps it up for this week. We just hit the 15 minute mark. That's what I was shooting for. So whew, tight. We flew in under it. Kind of not really. <laughs> But thank you to all who came out and viewed this live stream today. It's going to be every 
third Monday, I guess it is. Um, but yeah, be on the lookout for it. Shoot me questions anytime. I love to answer them. I'm an open book. Um, other than that, you know, thanks for coming out. Peace. Nice.